<clears throat> Welcome back to another edition of Special Situations Investing with Greg. This week I'm going to pause for a second and talk a little bit about my thoughts on the Independence Day in the United States. It's something that was just celebrated yesterday and uh, I have some thoughts on it that I think are relevant to anyone that wants to invest in special situations. Check it out. Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of my YouTube channel on special situations investing through and my personal investing practice. As a quick disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Any companies that I mention in this presentation are discussed solely for illustrative purposes. Discussing such companies and the specifics about them is to help educate me and educate you about certain special situations. It is not a solicitation to purchase them. I recommend that you conduct your own research and identify why you might want to own the company yourself prior to your committing of any funds. I also recommend that you seek the services of a financial advisor that has considered your personal situation as your fiduciary. And then finally, may your education here grow your knowledge, improve your personal investing performance, and give you the confidence to take control of your future. Thanks a bunch for watching. Now on to the video. Welcome back, investing mutants. So, as an investing mutant, sometimes you do things that are a little bit different and a little bit against the grain. In my view, that is the freedom that we all have when we invest. And I am very grateful that I live in the United States where I have the opportunity to be uh, in an area where we can do this. It's not to say that we don't have the opportunity in other, in other countries. It's just here in the United States, I know that the, my freedoms have been they've done their best to protect them uh, as leaders in this country. And that that comes back from DNA from, from many years ago. Uh, one of my favorite experiences from the, the history in my country is that the, the history of our Revolutionary War. Uh, not to say that I have anything against the British, it's just that I... Um, th there was something about having governance from people that are closer to you, I, th I think is very valuable in the world today. However, I think that freedom is more valuable than money, and I wanted to sp speak a little bit about how freedom affects someone who is investing. I considered, I consider debt today's uh, version of indentured servitude. It is what causes people to be less and less free as they go about their activities in, in this world today, and especially here in the United States. It seems like here in the United States we have way too many people that buy things that they think are going to be the reason why someone will uh, consider them successful. And that's to me, that's not freedom. Freedom is the ability to go out and do things with your family that you can't necessarily that, that other people can't necessarily do because they don't have the ability to do so, uh, be that monetary or actually some sort of political freedom. In, this, in the modern society of the United States, people are too willing to purchase things to impress people that they don't, that don't care about them. Investing the way that I do would be very difficult and almost impossible in my view if if I didn't have a solid financial foundation. And I wanted to just briefly go over some of those things that allow someone to have a solid foundation in order to uh, be free. And I'm going to make this a little bit personal. These are the things that my wife and I, that we have done in order to make sure that we are financially secure enough for me to pursue this this investing <laughs> adventure through special situations. I attribute my ability to invest in special situations to the following things. Number one, my wife and I are on the same page when it comes to our family budget and to our financial activities. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that we always do the exact same things and that we are perfect with it. It's that we are on the same page, that we and in general, we have certain things that we want to to accomplish, and we use our budget in order to meet those goals. 
Number one in that is that we that we save money from every paycheck. So the first thing that we that we did in order to get on the same page is that we started to save. And this happened, oh man, this is almost a decade ago, but we we made the decision to start saving from every single paycheck. And uh, over a decade of time that has made a huge uh, difference in our lives and made it so that we can do our work even better. And it makes it so that we can, you know, kind of go out and do some of those things that like special situations are, uh, some people would consider a little bit more risky than others. Number two, under the things that we are on the same page under, and that is that we purchased a modest home. So we purchased a modest home. We, we didn't try to go out there and buy the McMansion that everybody wants that, that you know, shows off to everybody how, how much money that you have and how, how wealthy you are. No, we have something that's sufficient for our needs. It's, it's big enough for us to have room for our children, room for our children, room for the things that we, that we need in order to, to enjoy life the way that we want to. And uh, sometimes it's not as big as we would like, and, but there's, it's not, it, we are not frivolous with our monthly housing expenses. And I have to attribute that to my wife. She's the one that said, you know, early on in our marriage, she said, you know, you need to focus on things that will allow you to lower your, your major costs. And that one was the house. We, we made the mistake early on uh, invest in, or purchasing a home that was a little bit, uh, a little bit too much of a reach for us. And ever since then, I've never felt comfortable doing that because one, I made the mistake, we made the mistake of buying something that we couldn't afford. And then she pointed out, well, if you really, if you really want to be successful, maybe you should just focus on that, that, that monthly payment and make things less, uh, less strenuous on you. The second thing under the, under that is when we purchased that mer that house, uh, we also did what's called a house hack. So <laughs> we we spent our time uh, looking for a home that that we could rent a other units out of it, and we ended up buying a two house property, and that allows us to then um, basically eliminate most of our our housing expenses altogether. So the financial foundations of success for us was one we're on the same page and under that we budget to the point where we save from every paycheck and then number two is we bought a modest home and then icing on the cake was that we house hacked and we now have a renter that basically pays us in order to live in the home that we that we are in the second thing that allows people to be financially free in my view is that we we exercise another freedom and that is the freedom of religion and it doesn't necessarily have to be well, you have to go to church or anything like that to me or you, to me it's the freedom of religion allows you to feel right with the world around you uh, with god if you are a religious person but also you feel right with the the universe if you're not and and the reason why i say this is that often if your mind is in the right position it allows you to start making some of the decisions that will that will ultimately lead to your financial success when your mind becomes right when it becomes calm when it becomes collected then you can make some of those decisions that are really tough as an investor that are that, that make you a more successful investor when you when you put when, when you participate in them. Um, and then finally, the last thing that, that my wife and I do in order to make sure that we are best with our, with our investing and that we are in a financial footing to be successful is that we respect each other's financial choices. Uh, I don't necessarily agree with everything that my wife does with money. I, I grew up in a, in, in a, household where we didn't go out to eat a lot, but I have learned to be more gracious and not as picky when she decides that she wants to take the kids out to eat. 
and sometimes it's good to have a treat and sometimes it's good to have an opportunity to go out and just enjoy life and I'm very grateful that she has taught me to do that because it keeps people keeps me balanced and keeps my children balanced so in summary those are the things that uh, that help us gain freedom in summary freedom starts in your mind and in your heart and then it begins to manifest itself in your mind uh, and in your daily activities and it allows you to become more successful over time and uh, I know that some sometimes it feels like it's oh, I just want to get there tomorrow well it, you can get there tomorrow and but it usually you, you have to have some of that patience and that's that's kind of where you have to remember you want to pay attention to your mental health as well as some of your spiritual health and, and the other things and that will contribute to your financial success. I'd like to end with the the words of Thomas Paine and he wrote a very interesting uh, quote that I th that I think is useful and he says this he says those who expect to reap the blessings of freedom must like men undergo the fatigues of supporting it and on this Independence Day and in in your own countries if it's if it's not your Independence Day but you go out and you celebrate your Independence Day on another day uh, think about the fact that you have to be you have to be a man and you have to undergo the fatigues that support freedom in your in your own life and this includes financial freedom you have to kind of make some of the decisions that will allow you to be successful and i hope that you are all are successful in your own endeavors and we'll catch you next week and we will talk about uh, investing again thanks so much